Morgan, hurry up, get in here. It's your favorite thing to do. What's going on in here? Just come over and sit with me, get cozy. Wait, we're watching us watch you? Yeah, isn't it great? We can watch our reactions to my segments that we reacted to last year. So you want me to relive 2020 all over again? Exactly. And relive all of your first look segments? My favorite segments though. So I have to watch us watch you strip all over again? Yeah. And I have to watch us watch you try and cheer again? Excuse me, try? Yes, emphasis on the try. <laughs> and I have to watch us watch you put a sparkle in your mouth all over again. Yes. Well, this is gonna be fun or a nightmare. This is gonna be more like a dream come true. Johnny, <laughs> don't caress me. Welcome to a special episode of First Look, where we take a look back at our reactions to my all-time favorite First Look segments. This is the beautiful and talented Morgan Willette, who was my prisoner, I mean, quarantine partner, through these rough times. Morgan, what would you say my best quality is, and why would you say it's my luscious derriere? 100% not your derriere, but I'd say you have a pretty good head of hair. Yeah? What about these babies? Eh, I guess you have a good manicure too. I think I have more spirit than any man on earth. Well, that's very debatable. All right, well then, since we're never gonna settle this, why don't we let the audience decide? Here's the time I tried out for the Los Angeles Rams cheerleading squad and my spirit was on full display, despite what Morgan thinks. You know what, Johnny? I think I know what it takes, especially when it comes to spirit. I cheered for four years at a D1 school for a football team. So I know some things what about team? college football. The Texas Longhorns. Hook them. Um, except Roll we Tide. Ew. I've had my fair share of cheer tryouts, though. So I know what you went through. I'm sure you Oh, no, did. you didn't. Oh, no, you didn't. You just <laughs> wait. You've Treating. never seen anything Great. this grueling ever. Rallying the fans, performing their hearts out in rain, sun, defeat, or snow, yep. you can always count on the unsung heroes of football. The cheer squad. They are the un unsung heroes. Oh, he's good. In 2018, after That's an intense audition of over I'm 300 hopefuls, classically trained dancers Quentin Perron and Napoleon Jennings became LA Rams cheerleaders along oh, with a squad awesome. of 38 females. Yeah! So they were the first two males to ever be uh, cheerleaders for the NFL. That's cool. And I was almost the third. <laughs> now trailblazers in the sport, Quentin and Napoleon. Did still you meet them? Have to contend yeah. With the same they, they, uh, their female uh, counterparts they were my, they were my trainers. We're not having pom-poms. We don't tumble. We don't tumble. We don't, we don't, we don't tumble. Yeah. Stunt work, getting no tossed up. Work, See, that's the difference between cheer and dance. What's the, what's the difference? So technically cheerleading would include the stunting, the tumbling, the mm -hmm. throwing the girls in the air, which is what more college cheerleaders do. I took a few tumbles while I was learning. I would learning. love to see you do a backflip. <sighs> now the first part was obviously the interview process, which- I'm sure you nailed. How do you feel about performing in front of large crowds? Terrified. What other capabilities do you have for us? I was an iguana wrangler in Florida. <laughs> I'm a sumo wrestler. <laughs> I think these are all, all these skills that I have w would translate over into cheerleading very well. Sumo wrestling, iguana wrangling. I would love to know wrangling. how wrangling an iguana would translate. Because you have to have agility, because you have to be able to catch them. The mawashi little diaper thing, it's similar in size to what you cheerleaders wear. You should have shown were. up for your tryout in that. You probably <sighs> would have made the team. I probably would have. <laughs> These poor girls having to audition with you. We're a international body machine. Yep, yep. Oh my God. <laughs> There's a snap. <laughs> Vegas. I honestly don't think my audition could have went any better. Fingers crossed. <laughs> oh my God. Now, I don't know if you noticed this, but they were, cause I think they forgot some of the moves. So they were actually copying off of me. You're right. Cause they were like, oh yeah, you gotta do the pirouette the before oh, the, uh, uh Good dance term. Russian twist. <laughs> Johnny, we thought you Spirit. put forth a great effort. Thank you. Your technique needs a little bit of work. You have a lot of personality. You need to make more eye contact. 
So. We're not going to have you on the team this year, but we'd like to have you come back. Crushing and as a consolation prize, we'd like to give you this shirt, and hopefully we'll see you at a game. And in a moment. These girls are so over you. Oh. I don't know. This is all I ever wanted. <laughs> it's a lot more difficult than it looks on TV, and they make it look effortless. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh! Yep. That, that was, was my move. That was pretty good. I'm not going to lie. That's actually, that's a Russian. That's, that's now, technically called a toe touch. Welcome back to a special edition of First Look Banana Reactions. Morgan, can you believe it's already been two years since I became the host of First Look? You've really come a long way. Well, who were the hosts before you? Well, to name a few, there was Ashley Roberts from the Pussycat Dolls, Audrina Patridge from The Hills, I believe Carol Baskins even hosted a segment in the early 2000s. So the show must have gotten a whole new feel with a bro host like yourself taking over. Damn right, but you know what? I slipped right in without skipping a beat. Let's check out the very first episode of First Look I ever did and the origin of my alter ego, Havana Banana. Havana Banana was the best damn boylesque performer can you downtown Los Angeles has ever seen. Can you explain boylesque for those like myself who may not be educated on the term? I had to dress in drag and strip. Were you nervous? I don't know what to think. I was like, I thought this was a travel show. <laughs> and here at Bar Mattachine to help you do just that is male burlesque artist, Tito Benito. Tito! He's gonna transform me from bro to male burlesque artist. Those are my old. Oh. I always thought burlesque was like- Did you wear nipple tassels? Female. Oh yeah. It can be. Burlesque is basically just a theatrical strip tease. We are gonna put you in a show tonight. Did you know when you walked no. up that you were gonna do a show? No. I didn't know that they were gonna have an entire audience there after he gave me the basics <laughs> and I was gonna have to perform in front of a crowd of people. <laughs> have you ever played with a boa before? Uh, yes, I have. I'd probably start like this. I invented that move, by the way. No, you did You didn't tell me to do that. I just did it. Definitely. She came out of nowhere with it. Squat a little bit and then push. Oh, we got gloves now. Whoa. You're going to grab this. You're going to put it in between your thighs right here. And before you ask, yes, that's a spray tan. Absolutely. You did get a spray tan for this? Had to. What's this over here? You're so cute. And I do magic sometimes, too. He did not even know that that glove was in his ear the entire time. You're so multi talented. I Your look, contour is on point. I look good in makeup. Look at those, la look, watch, watch these lashes when he puts them out. With all this and the glitz and the glam, I'm a little nervous about it, I'm not gonna lie. Wait for it, yep. Oh, yep. wow. Yep. Yep. yep, there's the nipple tassel. There's the tassel. <laughs> oh my God. Look at those eyelashes. <laughs> wow, my thighs look great, man. I'm following you. I want you to look have this outfit. Is it weird that I can't stop looking at myself? No, not at all, I love that. That's actually goal accomplished. It was like I was looking at somebody else. You were last name, Johnny. Havana Banana. Now, Tito, Tito's nipple tassel twirling abilities are next level. It seems difficult. He can put them on his butt cheeks and twirl them around. Did you try that? No, I didn't have enough time. Havana Banana. Did he create the routine for you? He didn't, there was no routine. He just showed me a few moves and he's like, just oh. go out there and do it. There was this guy who's drinking a martini and I took one of my stockings off and I stuffed it in his martini. Oh, you're an asshole. Yeah, the guy was, he, he, he got really mad. I mean, yeah, yeah it felt great. That movie. You kind of look, look good, good in a dress. Hey, man. Thanks. Look at that, there they are. There's the nipple tassels. You don't, you don't have, you don't have it. There's the tassels. Now, I also have to say, I have a much more profound respect getting that makeup off. It's hard. The amount of wipes and alcohol and Q-tips and cotton balls and paint thinner that I had to use to get that off. So he put so much glue to glue those mm -hmm. eyelashes on that I had glue stuck in my eyelashes for like days. and. 
when I'd work out, if I start to sweat, my eyelashes would stick to my eyelid like this because there was so much glue in there. Gotta say. Beauty is pain. Welcome back to... Welcome back to First Look as we take a look back at our favorite reaction to our favorite segments of 2020. All right, let's get one thing straight here. I'm the host. Maybe for First Look, but folks on YouTube seem to think that I'm a fresh addition. Just look at these comments. Morgan and Johnny are so great together. LMAO, Morgan in the very beginning lets me know this is gonna be good. Morgan is so beautiful. All right, well, here's one about me. Yo, you can totally see bananas hanging out in the open. Oh, that might have been from your Koreatown sponge bath. Yeah, maybe. Let's take a look at the time I hit the streets of Koreatown with none other than the two Toms, Tom Sandoval and Tom Schwartz from the hit show Vanderpump Rules. Get ready for a whole lot of handsome. If Hollywood's the soul of Los Angeles, some might say Koreatown is the heart. It's a 24-hour menagerie of spas, karaoke bars, toy stores, and everything in between. Yep. But to take on these streets tonight, I'm starting with the essentials, Korean barbecue. Mm. You remember this spot? Yeah, I went there for my birthday. Talk a little bit about Koreatown. Koreatown came into being uh, in the early 1900s. It was the Koreans who were able to move into this space and really brought economic mm. boom. Yeah. Yeah. The fact that our Delish. community did not give up. Many chose to stay and commit. How fast were you trying to eat while she was talking? I was so hungry. <laughs> I drove all the way up from Orange County. Okay, starving. We get there and they bring out every type of beef and pork and you could imagine. And I'm sitting there like, can you please <laughs> start cooking this food up? Cause I'm about to die. So actually in Korean culture, there's something called incha icha samcha sacha. Incha icha samcha sacha. What does that mean? The pre-party, the party, the after party, and then like the after after party. And that means we're about to have the night of our lives. That's right. That's so right. this would technically be the pre-party. This would be Ilcha. Boys, boys, boys. There they are. Look at these maniacs. Fellow like pants. Tom Sandoval and Tom Schwartz from Vanderpump Rules are keeping me company for this night out. Here's the Korea town. Out of the two Toms, who is the crazier one? Sandoval. For sure. <laughs> I could see that. He's wearing his party pants. He is wearing his party pants. <laughs> the Aroma Golf Range, which is one of the only multi-story driving ranges in the city. You oh, know, that's cool. Korea town yeah. is famous for these full body scrubs that they do at a spa. If you beat us, okay, we will pay for your scrub tonight. We'll see if the Toms can give me a run for my money. Whoa! Woo! That's a good swing. Okay. Right? Now, I'm, I'm going to get rewarded by my Korean salt scrub. I mean, I don't know. I'm thinking like a massage, maybe get like oil down. I don't know. It, it sounds it sounds great though, doesn't it? A body scrub. Honey, come this way, please. <laughs> this is what Caitlyn's dad texted me about. I'm seeing Johnny on the TV. He is um, naked, and they're covering him up with boxes. <laughs> naked as a newborn baby. Hello, salt. Ah! <laughs> Did you hear that? Ah! Poor Johnny. It actually felt really nice. My body, like... You're like, probably so smooth. So smooth. Well, I really did feel like a newborn baby. Yeah, so you big old baby complaining about it. Welcome to Mama Lion. Woo, Mama this spot? Lion. What do you envision for like the future of Koreatown? I see it becoming the melting pot of Los Angeles. I think it's That's already That's a good way to describe it. I've been coming to Koreatown in the 10 years we've been. These sparklers burn at an incredibly high heat. Yeah. So don't put them in your mouth. You should never put anything flammable in your mouth. That's number one rule of life. Is that the number one rule of life? Don't ever put anything flammable in your mouth? Every time I come, I fall in love a little more. Come back. Come oh, back. <laughs> come back. That's the thing about Koreatown. Every time I come here, I leave happy. Yes. What a hell of a night. Oh, that was good. That makes me want to have a drink. I don't know about you. You're out of wine. No, we're not. Pretend oh. like this is full. Uh, oh. Gombe! Gombe! Yeah. 
Welcome back to a very special edition of First Look Bananas Reactions. So you've traveled all over the world, but what was the best destination? Ooh, that's a tough one. Scotland was beautiful. Alaska was unlike any terrain I've ever seen, but I'm still waiting on First Look to send me to the ultimate destination, space. Ever since I went looking for aliens in Roswell, I've kept my eye on the sky and I've been following the Space Force Twitter account. Well, since 2020 was out of this world, how about a little space quiz, stud Nick? Ooh, very punny. Mm. Let's blast off. All right, so in 2020, large bodies of salt water were discovered on which planet? Is it A, Saturn, B, Mars, C, Uranus, or D, the moon of Uranus? I'm gonna have to go with uh, the moon of Uranus. That is incorrect, it is B, Mars, but We'll give you another chance. In 2020, a large silver monolith disappeared from the desert valley of Utah, only to reappear three days later in, is it A, Stonehenge, B, Easter Island, C, Romania, or D, again, the moon of Uranus? Well, this is easy, definitely in Uranus. Anyways, that is also incorrect. It is C, Romania, but we'll, we'll work on that. I don't believe it. Watch now as I try and convince Morgan that the truth is out there as I go southwest in search of UFOs. Do you believe in aliens? Yeah, I guess I do. I think aliens are real in the form of maybe light or mm -hmm. like a giant star essentially. Okay. But I don't think that they look like this. So aliens then you think are on earth in the form of giant stars. So essentially you're sitting next to an alien. <laughs> <laughs> July 8th, 1947, the Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found at Roswell, New Mexico, and is now in the possession of the Army. Okay, I believe I'm gonna that. I'm going to channel my inner Fox Mulder. Yep. Because today I am Do you know Fox Mulder is? No. Did a spaceship crash here? Were there little aliens taken off this spaceship? And are there people who can corroborate and verify if this actually happened? And to help me in my search for the truth is former UFO special investigator, Don Schmidt. This guy was a beauty. And it's a not a real job, is it? Job. Yes. That's a real job. He, gets, uh, he's a he makes a salary for being a UFO specialist. Investigator. Investigator. I want to know who pays Don Schmidt's bills. Well, we paid him for the day. The witnesses were all threatened. Is it hot outside? Why is he wearing a coat? He's in a full-on suit. <laughs> Listen, if you're an alien hunter, you got to look good all the time. You're constantly under under surveillance. Cover up. So he's even said right now, in 1947, me and him were walking down the street. If we looked up in the air and waved, they would be taking pictures of us. The real question is, do the aliens have a TikTok? I bet they know how to do savage. Classic, bougie, ratchet. Most prominent was the head. Large almond shaped eyes, like horse eyes. Mm -hmm. Horse eyes. And a very diminutive nose, mm -hmm. just a slit for a mouth, yep. and just openings for the ears. They appeared like human beings, but they weren't. They appeared like human beings, but they weren't. Like this guy's full of it. But what I'm looking for is proof. So who are you gonna call? Well, the UFO seekers, of course. This is not real. No, these are real people. This is, they don't have a logo on their corner. We're headed to the UFO crash site where the object was discovered that crashed in 1947. Who knows, you might find something. Now, this was, I flew this drone right here, and I, doesn't that kind of look like an alien spaceship crash there? I mean, kind of, like if it crashed. Yeah, like, yeah, if you squint and. See? Okay, First, that kind of looks like a crater. See if we could find any debris left over from a possible crash. Some metal detector. I have a question. Do you guys had to have planted these metal objects? No way. Hell no, we're professionals. Uh, lever assembly. See, that's what we're looking for. They can't really be bent or destroyed. And you can see how thin this is, and you can't even flex the material. Yeah. Yep. Good catch, Tracy. Good job, team. <laughs> now, what if I told you? Oh, boy. I just want to pack it all up, just sell it all. Let's go on the road and let's be UFO hunters. I think you're on your own, bud. Light and things that move directly. Look at that. It's like I can see in the dark. Oh, wait, hold on. We got what do you say that is? Is that, that real? What? Is, yes, that's real. What the hell is that? A, a airplane? Uh, no. What's that? Airplanes don't move that and stop. 
Airplanes don't do that. That's not I, I real. Lost yes, lost. it was. That we actually saw that. That's kind of creepy. Dude. Boom. <laughs> UFO. Well, you know what? I bet when aliens do come to invade the Earth, you're probably going to be abducted first because you're the one who's searching for them. You messed with the UFO seekers. You're probably going to be the first one to go. And you're going to be the first one to be probed. Come on. I'm just saying. See, Morgan, that wasn't so bad, now was it? No, being in lockdown with you again wasn't as bad as the first time, and it was fun remembering what you looked like with a decent haircut. Don't hate on the salad. At least I didn't gain the quarantine 15. Um... Okay. Thanks for hanging with us tonight. Here's to 2021. It could not have gotten here fast enough, and we are so excited to finally have some normalcy. I know. I can't wait. Neither can I. Okay, now which segment should we watch next? No, give me the remote.